Good morning and welcome to St. Patrick's Cathedral for the celebration of the Eucharist on St. Patrick's Day. Please join in singing the opening hymn, Christ Be Beside Me, number 468 in the Blue St. Michael Hymnal, number 468. Christ be beside me, Christ be before me, Christ be behind me, King of my heart, Christ be within me, Christ be everyone, welcome to St. Patrick's Cathedral. On this our uh, Patron's Day, the Feast of Glorious St. Patrick. He's the patron of our cathedral, of our archdiocese, and a wonderful uh, model for all of us to put our faith on him and his preaching and teaching and, and what he showed the people of Ireland. So let us pray also for Joseph Fury, for whom this Mass is specially offered. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. <clears throat> the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My sisters, my brothers, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned, in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison, Christ eleison, Christ eleison, Kyrie eleison, Kyrie eleison. Glory to God in my God, who chose the Bishop St. Patrick 
to preach your glory to the peoples of Ireland. Grant through his merits and intercession that those who glory in the name of Christian may never cease to proclaim your wondrous deeds to all. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. A reading from the book of the prophet Isaiah. How beautiful upon the mountains are the feet of him who brings glad tidings, announcing peace, bearing good news, <clears throat> announcing salvation, and saying to Zion, your God is king. Hark, your sentinels raise a cry, together they shout for joy. For they see directly before their eyes the Lord restoring Zion. Break out together in song, O ruins of Jerusalem. For the Lord comforts his people, he redeems Jerusalem. The Lord has bared his holy arm in the sight of all the nations. All the ends of the earth will behold the salvation of our God. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Our responsorial psalm, Proclaim God's Marvelous Deeds to All the Nations. Proclaim, Proclaim God's, God's Marvelous, marvelous deeds, deeds to All the Nations. Sing to the Lord a new song. Sing to the Lord, all you lands. Sing to the Lord, bless his name. Proclaim God's Marvelous Deeds to All the Nations. Announce his salvation day after day. Tell his glory among the nations, among all peoples, his wondrous deeds. Proclaim God's, God's marvelous, marvelous deeds to all the nations. Give to the Lord, you families of nations. Give to the Lord glory and praise. Give to the Lord the glory due his name. Proclaim, Proclaim God's, God's marvelous, marvelous deeds to all the nations. Say among the nations, the Lord is king. He has made the world firm, not to be moved. He governs the peoples with equity. Proclaim God's marvelous deeds to all the nations. Today's second reading is from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, be serious and sober-minded so that you will be able to pray. Above all, let your love for one another be intense, because love covers a multitude of sins. Be hospitable to one another without complaining. As each one has received a gift, Use it to serve one another as good stewards of God's varied grace. Whoever preaches, let it be with the words of God. Whoever serves, let it be with the strength that God supplies, so that in all things God may be glorified through Jesus Christ, to whom belong glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. Even now, says the Lord, return to me with you. and merciful. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ, King of endless glory. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. While the crowd was pressing in on Jesus and listening to the word of God, he was standing by the lake of Genezareth. He saw two boats there alongside the lake. The fishermen had disembarked and were washing their nets. 
Getting into one of the boats, the one belonging to Simon, he asked him to put out a short distance from the shore. Then he sat down and taught the crowds from the boat. After he had finished speaking, he said to Simon, put out into deep water and lower your nets for a catch. Simon said in reply, Master, we have worked hard all night and have caught nothing, but at your command I will lower the net. When they had done this, they caught a great number of fish and their nets were tearing. They signaled to their partners in the other boat to come and help them. They came and filled both boats so that they were in danger of sinking. When Simon Peter saw this, he said to, he felt at the knees of Jesus and said, depart from me, Lord, for I am a sinful man. For astonishment at the catch of fish they had made seized him and all those with him. Likewise, James and John, the sons of Zebedee, who were partners of Simon. Jesus said to Simon, do not be afraid. From now on, you will be catching men. When they brought their boats to the shore, they left everything and they followed him. The Gospel of the Lord. One of the most powerful things about St. Patrick is that he didn't have to do what he did. He didn't have to come back to the place of his slave, enslavement and preach the gospel to the pagans who were there in Ireland, to, to their kings and princes and their druids and all of the people of the, of the nation. He had escaped. He had been put uh, on that island as a slave for many years. And when he was able to escape from there and return to this, what he thought was the, the civilized world, he could have said, enough with everything that happened to me over there. I'm going to live my life and I'm going to look to the future somewhere else. But the call of God was so strong in his heart and in his dreams, he was summoned to come back to Ireland and to share the Christian faith with them. And thanks be to God, we wouldn't be here today if he hadn't listened to the, that dream and those voices and that insistent uh, cry of the Irish people looking for something beyond their paganism and be beyond the worship that they had to false gods. So we, every year on this day, we thank God for his call to Patrick uh, to come back to a place that was not a very pleasant place for him, but to share the goodness of God, the, the treasures of our Catholic faith with the people of Ireland. And so for all of these centuries, since that day that he returned and he began to preach and spoke to the high king of Ireland and shared the, uh, the treasures of being a Christian and being a Catholic, uh, the people of Ireland responded and uh, embraced the faith and for all of these centuries have been uh, some of the most ardent and, and uh, strong supporters of God's faith in Catholicism. Uh, today we pray for the people of Ireland in a special way. Uh, it's not the easiest time for the faith in that beautiful country, but it's a time when uh, those who love the faith uh, have to pray that the people of Ireland embrace once again the faith of their fathers and their mothers, the faith that brought them to the, the great place in the world that, that they are. Uh, St. Patrick, pray for us and pray for the people of Ireland. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Let us pray. We pray for our Holy Father, Pope Francis, and our shepherd, Cardinal Dolan, that God bless them and guide them. We pray to the Lord. We pray for those who work for the defense of human life from its earliest moments, those who work for peace and for justice, that God will bless them and guide their paths. We pray to the Lord. For American military personnel throughout the world, especially in Afghanistan, we pray to the Lord. For the teachers, for the doctors and for the nurses who are so in, engaged in our present health crises that God give them strength and fortitude. We pray to the Lord. For the people of Ireland uh, who had embraced the Catholic faith from the preaching of Patrick, the, the, their descendants throughout the world, that God strengthen their faith and make them understand how important it is. We pray to the Lord. And for those who have died, especially Joseph Fury, 
people close to our hearts, that God give them eternal happiness in heaven. We pray to the Lord. And in the silence of our own hearts, let each of us add our own particular intention. We pray to the Lord. O Lord our God, we ask you to listen to our prayers. We bring them to you in the name of Jesus, our brother and savior, who is with you as God forever and ever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, and the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. By the mystery of this water and wine, may we come to share in us the divinity of Christ, who humbled himself to share in our humanity. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread, the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, and work of human hands will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me of all my sins. My sisters and brothers, pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept his sacrifice at our hands the praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his holy church. Look upon the sacrificial gifts we offer, almighty God, on this feast day of blessed Patrick, and grant that we who celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion may imitate what we now do through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. Lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Patrick, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by his words of preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Indeed, holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice. Once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many 
for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may get, be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Timothy, our bishop, and all the clergy. Remember your servant Joseph, whom you have called from this world to yourself. Grant that he who was united with your son in a death like his may also be one with him in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. Patrick, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. 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 At the Savior's command informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory, and the glory are yours now, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, Lord I am not I'm worthy, worthy that you should enter under my under roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed.
Please join in singing, Lord, You Have Come to the Seashore, which is number 626 in the Blue St. Michael hymnal, number 626. It has been a long Catholic understanding that when circumstances prevent one from receiving Holy Communion, it is possible to make an act of spiritual communion, which is a source of grace. Spiritual communion is an ardent desire to receive Jesus in the most holy sacrament and lovingly embrace him at a time or in circumstances when one cannot receive him in sacramental communion. The most common reason for the making of an act of spiritual communion is when a person cannot attend Mass. Acts of spiritual communion increase our desire to receive sacramental communion and help us avoid the sins that would make us unable to receive Holy Communion worthily. So those who are listening to us and watching us on live stream, uh, please join me in an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you in my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there and unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. May the sacrament we have received, O Lord our God, nourish in us that faith taught by the preaching of the apostles and kept safe by the labors of blessed Patrick through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Happy St. Patrick's Day to everybody. Please join in singing Faith of Our Fathers, number 520, in the Blue St. Michael hymnal, number 520.